Hi guys, how you doing? Uh, I'm here, I wanted to shed some light on some in-home workout and training methods that I've incorporated into my regimen uh, to help mimic kind of the same work that I was doing prior to the gyms being closed. I know a lot of people, um, maybe if you're not, maybe if you didn't study kinesiology or exercise science, or maybe if you didn't play sports growing up, it's a little hard to find those variations. Um, I always encourage my friends and clients to think outside the box and think about the motion that you're doing, right? If it's a push, a press, a pull, a squat, rotation, burnout, these are all things that when you think about the anatomy of the body, it becomes easier to figure out, okay, I just need to find an object that can mimic this pulling motion like a lat pull down, right? It doesn't necessarily, necessarily need to be cable work. So let me give you a little bit of what I've been working on. Right here on my tire, um, I use that for anything from sled work, tire swings, tire flips, tire throws. I've got my sandbag for squatting, uh, everything from bent over rows, cleaning presses, farmers walks. You can even take that if you stick a metal pipe through it and you can develop curls. Obviously I've got the dumbbells, but kind of limited with what I have at home. I got my kettlebell, some logs. I have some logs outside too, which those are great for virtually anything. Let me give you a lowdown real quick. Here are my logs. That's my dog, Simba. Hey, buddy. And as you can see, you can do farmer's walks up and down. All it takes is a little bit of perimeter work, right? And you can get those same results that you were getting in the gym. I got my punching bag set up, getting a little bit of a burnout workout. I took off the uh, toolbox on my truck bed, set it up as a bench. You can open it up and use it as an incline bench. You can do dips. I've also got my other dip station over here between two chairs and then you can make variations between the two by making them more narrow or more wide. Um, lastly, my favorite one is this one. I got this pulley system set up off my deck, took a rope, tied it up to this log and obviously you can increase the weight with anything. You could do, uh, you could take a large stone. I have like a 70 pound kettlebell that I'll sometimes tie to that. It all depends on what you're trying to do. But the point is, is when you understand the motions and the anatomy of the muscle that you're trying to progressively overload, then it becomes very simple to figure out, okay, how can I target that muscle with the equipment that I have around the house? Uh, a perfect example I use is when I was younger, my dad and I, he used to have this car in neutral. Now I'll just be pushing it up and down my street, right? And that's no, no, nowhere in the guidelines of the gym does it say, you know, add that into your regimen. But you better believe it made me a lot stronger, a lot thicker, and a lot more street smart in terms of when it comes to home workouts, like in a time like this. So I encourage you to look around your house, find something where you can mimic the motions that you were doing that made you happy in the gym, and you'll find yourself being very content with your home workouts. All right, enjoy the rest of your day.